So just for this time, do not allow yourself to go into any stories in the mind. That includes any mental images, any imagined conversations, any imagined arguments, any fantasies about what you're going to say, what you're going to do, how you're going to act, and no memories either of any previous events. We're not going to allow ourselves to go into things that we should have said, that we should have done. Just relieve yourself of this burden now. If you could have done something differently, you would have done something differently. We're not going to allow any stories of how you should have acted, or even going to what other people should have done or how they should have acted. We can pick all of this apart and work through all of this later. This is different. For this practice, be compassionate towards yourself, be warm and loving towards yourself and just let go of this tendency to have the mind on a constant replay loop, a frantic constant audio-visual commentary that constantly plays in the mind with powerful spikes of anger, guilt. Just don't go to any of that content. You can find it is quite easy to do this, actually. Just understand deeply the mind is not where the healing will be found, not ultimately. It can be useful to some extent, but the ultimate healing will be found within the open, infinite space of simple, pure, present awareness. Consciousness unmixed with the content of the mind, simply allowed to rest on the sensations of the body. And you may become aware that there is some bubbling away of the mind activity. This is okay. Just, just don't get so involved in any of this. Just don't allow yourself to get drawn into these powerfully emotional stories. Instead, we'll focus on how the emotion, how the feeling, how the darkness, the pain, the tension, and yes, indeed, the trauma is stored in the body. And be aware that in doing so, we may find powerful things try to rise up into the mind. The moment they arise into the mind, simply let them go. So, open your awareness to the sensation in the body and just allow it to be as it is. There's nothing to be done. This dense cloud of sensation that seems to pervade and cling to areas in the body. Maybe the neck, maybe the back, the stomach. Wherever this pain resides for you and however it manifests for some it may be a sharper pain for some it may be dense or just some form of restlessness agitation discomfort however it is don't get involved we're not going to wish it away we're not going to try and get rid of it we're not going to try and move it along.
just be aware of how it feels now. But just the sensation as it is. Place no name or label upon it. And just a sense of allowing. Just as you would allow a dark cloud to pass on a summer day, knowing that it's there, feeling its chill, and understanding there is nothing that can be done to make it move quicker. Just be aware and allow it to drift. And breathe. There is no rush for this, even if we're feeling heart racing, a bit of agitation. This is actually a good sign. It's a sign we're getting deep, deep in. And allow awareness to do its job. Allow the infinite space of this universal consciousness to just wash and flood through the body. Attaching no story, no memory. And do not be frustrated by the persistence of this dark feeling. Remember, we're not attaching words or interpretation, just feel it as it is. If it's ordinarily a tightness, just understand, is it really a tightness? Just the sensation as it is, without a label, without a word or an image, it just is, and ah. Uh, You may feel the expanding and then contracting effect. It's an out and then in. This is, this is fine as well. This is the, the nervous energy, reluctant to let go of the, the tightly held pattern, but all is well. All is well now. All is well. To, to let go now of, of all of it. Be as though there was no history. Just allow it to be as though it never happened. Nothing ever happened. Nothing ever will happen. It's just now. Nothing ever began. Nothing will ever end. Everything just is as it is now and all is well. is the most profound and powerful healing that one can do for your emotional health, your emotional body, your inner child, your traumatized nervous system, whichever language you use, your troubled spirit, your troubled soul, all of these words point towards the same thing and so many of us have experienced it and continue to experience it and all is well. This is deep, profound healing and all that is necessary is allow the loving space of awareness to wash through the body. And breathe. Fully in, fully out. You may not feel the benefit of this immediately. It may take some time. Or you may feel it at some other time when you feel, oh, I usually get stressed at this, or I usually feel anxious at this time. But now, 
has just a sense of calm. And it is this practice that allows this to happen. So just be. Be as the awareness, the presence of space in which the feeling has full and total permission to come to the light. Even the densest, darkest shadows cannot survive in the light and all they want is permission to rise. They just wish to be allowed to rise up into the light and breathe. A sense of embracing. In the true sense of the word embrace, as in to hug, to bring close, to bring close and to hold. Embrace the feeling. And a sense of openness. And there is nothing fragile about you to protect. You are not vulnerable. You are the infinite space of awareness. And you are aware of however this pain body manifests for you. But you are the awareness of this. And there is no sense in hiding away or shying away from the world. But allow yourself to be open and empty, receptive. And this world will no longer frighten you. Shrinking away only causes the pain to get more tense and more tight. But being open and free, without fear, And really do this now, open out into the light, let go, no past, there is no past, there is no past to heal, there is no previous vast painful story to heal, all of those previous events, if they left a mark, it left a mark within the space of this pain body here. But there is nothing to fix in the past. We cannot go back. We cannot go to previous events and you wouldn't want to anyway. So there can be no should have said this, should have done this. Disregard that. And understand the past now lives only as this sensation in the body. And this sensation in the body happens now. So, no past, as though nothing ever happened. Nothing ever happened. And what is left is just this sensation. And you can endure. You can bear this sensation. When we attach the story, we attach the memory, it becomes unbearable. The memory, the story, the emotions that rise out of this feeling are volatile, intense, frantic and exhausting, stressful. So we're not going to allow that to happen. When the feeling begins to rise up into mind activity, just let it go immediately and off it goes. The 
mind activity and strong emotions only serve to reinforce the pain body and perpetuate its existence. And we are not interested in doing that. So no past, no future, no stories, no images, no more arguments in the mind, no more negative voice judging yourself. Leave it all well alone and simply reside as the open, empty space of being and just be as you are. Allow yourself to feel the sensation and within this present moment is it so bad this is okay for now just this, just this, just this, just this, just this. Just this, just this, just this. Just this. Just this, just this, just this. Just this. Don't allow your mind to go to, and then what? Or even, I should do this more often. Don't allow your mind to even go there. Just this. Just this. Just this. Just this. And when that lightness starts to build, when the open space of awareness now revealed, shining brightly, shining, allow, allow yourself to hope, yes, you can reside as this, aware of the shadows, aware of the darkness and density, but you are not made of the shadow. You are not made of the darkness and density. You are the light that shines upon them. And the darker it appears, is just proof that you are shining all the more brightly upon that darkness. So when that little glimmer of joy and hope arises within you, that little spark of love that may have long since been buried Finally, embers, sparks into that pure white fire. Allow it to burn through. Just this, just this, just this, just this, just this. And the beautiful thing about the infinite space of awareness is that it's infinite. And so you can do this at all times. It may be more challenging in the early days of practice because you might be able to <laughs> ignore 
and disregard your own stories in your mind, but other people <laughs> will still come at you with theirs. <laughs> but in time, there is an awareness of the inner body at all times, and this awareness of the inner body is so healthy and healing. There may be many, many years, perhaps even decades of pain in this apparent past that you are leaving behind. And so it is absolutely okay if it takes some time for this sticky, dense knot of darkness to evaporate. It will in time. And when you are ready to let it go fully, you can let go. And you could do it now. Now, in this moment, let go. Really do it. No stories now. No name, no label, no history, no future, no nothing. Just what is. It's perfectly pleasant. So just be. Thank you for doing this practice with me today. When you take time to heal yourself, you're going a long way to removing some of the pain, the trauma, the burden within the collective consciousness of humanity. So gratitude to you and thank you to you for doing this practice and healing that pain body. If you like my message, please remember to hit that like and subscribe. And I have channel memberships available now, so consider joining if you'd like to go a little further into the full, open, empty expanse of a total and complete liberation. I hope you are well out there and I wish you all the best in your healing journey. I know how tough it is. It's rough. It is rough and I hope that at some point as you're feeling the glimmers of hope arising, that, that new instinct is rising within you, that new intuition rising within you of this is possible. A full, total, complete healing and liberation is possible and it's possible for you now. It's everything I have for you today. Thank you. Take care. Be well and stay present.